I have the perfect summer cocktail drink recipe for you that's low carb, delicious, and it won't wreck you the next day. Hey there, NJRoot22.com with a little bit of a kitchen drink low carb recipe vlog for today. Uh, with the weekend coming up, here's a nice low carb recipe for you that I concocted after much experimentation and I think it's a pretty decent, uh, refreshing and uh, buzzworthy drink that you can enjoy um, this summer or any day for that matter. But it, it's a good summer drink because it's cold and refreshing. So basically what it is, it's a low carb drink made with a combination of spiked seltzers and a little bit of vodka and some non uh, alcoholic seltzer and ice of course in a big giant cup but basically here here are the ingredients you start out with uh, I, I choose the uh, Smirnoff spike sparkling seltzer it doesn't matter what flavor in this case and I'll tell you why in a minute the second ingredient is um, a can of crook and marker um, spiked seltzer spiked what I forget the exact spiked and sparkling or something like that um, I chose peach because I've tried a bunch of the flavors, not all of them, but I chose peach because it made this drink what it is. It's sort of like a peach, uh, what do you call those, uh, schnapps. It had, it had a really good taste. And the next thing you need to buy is uh, a 50 milliliter airline bottle of vodka. Now, I have tried a lot of vodkas and they are very different in terms of how you might feel the next day. I recommend the Western Sun brand. It's a dollar for a 50 milliliter bottle. And um, one little bottle of that makes four 32 ounce drinks. That's a gallon of summer cocktails. You'll see when I explain in a minute. And you also need to have on hand some non-alcoholic flavored seltzer. I like the ShopRite brand because they're cheap right now. I, see, I still think they're uh, 40 cents a liter, which makes about two drinks, um, give or take, maybe a little uh, more than two drinks in this recipe. And of course, you're gonna need a scale. You don't need it if, you, if you're really an expert and you can do it all by eye, but I recommend for the first few drinks that you use a kitchen scale because you're gonna weigh instead of a measuring cup. It's just a faster way of uh, making the drink instead of pouring in a, in, in a uh, measuring cup and so on. Because some, some of the measurements are gonna be very little and it's good to have um, a scale weight. And next, you, I like using 32 ounce uh, ball jars or mason jars, they're called. Um, but, you know, fill it up with a, a certain amount of ice. Not all the way. Um, depending on whether your drinks are previously refrigerated, you can fill it about a quarter or a third of the way with ice. That's, uh, you can adjust that uh, to your preferences later on. And, and that's it. Um, and basically what I like to do is I add uh, ginger powder, like a half a teaspoon of uh, ginger powder, or a quarter teaspoon, I forget how much. Um, that's, and I put uh, a squirt of lemon juice in before I put the, the uh, ice jar on the scale. And what you do is you put the ice jar on the scale uh, and tar it out. Or in, in my case, I just turn the scale on with the, the weight already on it and it zeroes out right in the beginning. But what, if you know how to use a kitchen scale, you tar it out and it, it resets it to zero and it, then it starts counting everything that you add in. So what I like to do is I put, a, uh, I put the, the drink on the scale and I put 12 milliliters, between 12 and 13. It's actually 12 and a half, but my scale doesn't measure that low. 12 to 13 milliliters of vodka in. That's one quarter of an airline bottle. Yes, you only use a little bit. And then next, what I do is I put in six ounces or half a can of Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer. Um, I picked that because the, the Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer, with the exception of the Pina Colada, which is the king of the hill still, it, it's not the most flavorful drink. And now, 
I mean, it, it, but it's a good drink because it's uh, very low carb, one half a gram of carbs per half can. Um, and it, it's a good buzz, it's, it's a nice buzz. So the, the next thing I put in is uh, one quarter of one can of Crook & Marker um, low carb seltzer. They use erythritol to sweeten that drink and it, you, one can straight is ridiculously sweet. It's overly sweet for people like us at least. Maybe some people like that level of sweetness, especially if they're used to eating a lot of sugar in their life. But anyway, I put, I determined after much experimentation that a quarter can was plenty of flavor to make your, your refreshing summer cocktail not too overwhelming or not too sweet tasting. So that works out to about 2.8 ounces, or if you want to, you know, I highly recommend you just keep the scale on milliliters. It's about 70 milliliters of fluid. Um, and by the way, the six ounces of Smirnoff before was about 170 milliliters. So you got 12 milliliters of vodka, um, 170 milliliters of Smirnoff, spiked sparkling seltzer, and 70 milliliters of, or was it 80, I think? I can't remember anymore, 70 or 80. Oh God, I can't remember, I don't have my notes. But anyway, maybe it is 80, 80 milliliters of uh, Crook and & Marker. And then you fill the rest up with your seltzer, stir it up and you're good to go. And it's, it's damn delicious. And it works out to be the same amount of alcohol as just you drinking one can of seltzer, around four and a half percent alcohol uh, per 12 ounces. But when you consider that it's a um, mason jar filled with ice and other seltzer, it cuts the alcohol down to about half. So my guess is, and, and that includes the ice melt in the process. My guess is it's about a two and a half percent or two and a quarter percent alcohol drink. Um, and it's very refreshing. You can drink, so you can, all you really need is two cans of Smirnoff Spike Sparkling Seltzer. That makes four drinks. One can of Crook & Marker. That also makes four drinks. And one little airline bottle of Western Sun Vodka I re recommend. And your ice and maybe two liters of other seltzer is all you need and, and like I said lemon juice or any other kind of additive you want to put in there but ah, extremely refreshing and uh, four four will um, be good for for a long uh, afternoon or a nice evening drinking that's a gallon of fluid that's a, I mean, sup supposing you don't let all the ice melt maybe it's a uh, hundred and 10 ounces of fluid that's uh, enough to keep most average human beings quenched and uh, satisfied. But it, it truly is uh, something, if, especially if you have a nice pool or a nice patio with the uh, umbrellas and nice tables, it, it, it's a great drink to enjoy this summer and it won't mess you up. Four won't mess you up. Uh, I should do a little footnote here. Um, that's my body weight, I'm 200 pounds. Your own little alcohol barometer will vary. I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend a 100 pound girl drink four of them, uh, definitely gonna wreck them. And also be very careful and, and try not to, to use more than the recommended amount of vodka that I suggested, 12 milliliters per drink. Because if you use more, you will easily over drink and it won't hit you until it's too late and you're gonna feel pretty woozy and crappy the next day if you drink too much vodka mixed in this. I, I've had that happen to me more than once, twice to be exact. And I actually was uh, almost useless the following day. If I, I, I think I tripled the amount of vodka. I was putting like 30 something, 30 or 40 milliliters in. I almost doubled the alcohol of my drink. I was drinking like six or 8% uh, drinks and I drank six of them and I, I was uh, a wreck. So if you care about throttling your alcohol, you really need to stay in control of how much you put in it because that vodka, that vodka can really uh, cause trouble for you. But this is a good drink. Let me try it, please, someone, at least one person, please try it. It's a, it's a fun drink to enjoy and it's not expensive. And that's it. I hope you enjoy your weekend.